to back up your files click on this icon over here and on this page you can see there are many options for you to download your backup files first you can select a system backup to download a daily backup secondly is a weekly backup files and the third is a monthly backup files so if you want to download just click on the individual buttons next is the full backup that means it backup all your files and all the configurations of your account so when you want to download just click on this button but take note that this option will download a very huge file that means depending on your serve on your account files this is the biggest and the largest file size out of all next is the partial backup that means you only backup certain aspects or only certain sections of your account like for this option is the home directory backup so if you want to download it again same thing just click on the link over here the the button link and if you want to download individual mysql database files just click on any of these and as you can see i already have five mysql database being used and all these are third party scripts which i use on my website another option is to download email folders or email or filters backup you can just download them over here just click on the link on the right hand side is the restore buttons you can see here if you want to restore a home directory backup just browse the file and find the file anywhere on your computer and once you are done just click on upload same thing here to restore a mysql database just browse find the file and click on upload button and the same thing also goes for this email forwarders backup restoring this uh, section now I want to show you an example of how I download a MySQL database backup and then how I restore it now first of all I'm now in my powerlink generator script which I installed on my server as you can see over here the link over here it is installed on my server so let's download the mysql database file I will go to this link over here and I will click once and then I press ok and I will download the mysql database file the backup file to the desktop and it's done okay now I'll show you why this backup is very important for example if you did something or something happened to your installation or to your script over here you can see here I click on view all campaigns this is a, an ad tracking link ad tracking uh, script sorry and there are many important information over here so let's say if I accidentally corrupted the database or I accidentally deleted all the campaigns for example I will delete many campaigns over here this is to show you an example on why backups especially my SQL data backups are very very important so let's say I delete all four as you can see it has been deleted so I'll just close the window first okay so let's say take into account that something happened to your script like now for example I accidentally deleted 4 for example here okay, just to show you so how do you restore the the files back or, or the entries again so instead of creating new campaign one by one let's say if I have 100 campaigns what if you have 100 campaigns are you going to create one by one again it will take many many hours for you to do that in and it will be a daunting task so this is where the mysql database backup comes in 
Remember that I have downloaded the database backup. Now I will going to restore it. So I will click on this browse button. Make sure it's in the right section, MySQL database. I'll click on browse and I will choose the database file here. Backup file. Click open and I will upload it. So I press the upload button. As you can see it is now restoring the database and when you scroll down everything is complete ok now let us refresh back you will see the entries which I have deleted has been added again there you go these are the first four entries which I deleted just now and now it has been added again so that's how powerful a backup is and in fact that's how important a backup is especially if, it, uh, if it's a MySQL database backup because if you're using a script a third-party script it could be very very vital and important for you to retain the structure to get all the contents and to be able to uh, continuously have the content anytime you want or that means uh, to avoid any loss of data or any loss of content from your uh, script so it is important for you to once in a while download this database especially the MySQL database backup okay now let's go back alternatively you can also backup from this option over here backup wizard click on the icon here and then you can choose whether you want to backup or restore so let's see you want to backup click on the link over here and if you want full backup just click on the link here if you want partial backup just choose from any of these options so for example if you want to backup your MySQL database just click here and same thing you can choose any of the download files here